All right, welcome everyone to the Just for Clicks podcast. I'm Forrest, and uh, yeah, I was going to read the news a little bit today, but there's nothing really going on in the world, so I actually I'm just going to go ahead and get jump right into uh, reading the uh, emails that I got. So, you know, um, every week you guys write in and uh, ask me questions relating to, you know, brick filming and, and filmmaking and, and whatnot, but, um, you know, the, the really interesting ones are, like, just, like, people asking, like, life advice, you know, because, like, I'm so not qualified to answer these questions like i'm only 26 you know like i uh, i'm far from a, a balanced individual um so it's it's hilarious to me but i figured you know i might as well start a show where i attempt to answer these questions wholeheartedly so he, uh, here we go um first email is from prissy dog he says uh, life advice school Hey Forrest, I've been a long time viewer of yours. I started watching your YouTube video back in the Lego Batman days and also watching your Craig series. Anyways, I just wanted your advice on school. I've been going for the past two years and I don't feel like I want to go anymore. I'm not sure what I want to do and I hate to keep making my parents pay for school if I'm switching majors and not knowing what to do. I just wanted to know what you would do in a situation like this I really felt like I wanted to try and live stream video games on Twitch, but my parents don't really see the end goal, and it's so difficult now to make that a whole career. Uh, how do you know what you want to pursue, and do you really need to go to college to be happy and successful? Uh, thank you so much in advance. Um, okay, great. Uh, yeah, so this is a question I actually get a lot. Um, it, and by the way, if you guys have questions, you can go ahead and write in to uh, Just for Clicks pod at gmail.com and I will attempt to uh, answer the questions that I get there um, so yeah about this one um, Chrissy dog I uh, I would say if you had a million dollars say or say you had a billion dollars a million's not, not that much anymore if you had a billion dollars what would you spend your time doing uh, would you work on cars um, would you play video games all day uh, you would you you'd have to spend your time doing something, so whatever that something is, try and turn that into a career that makes you money. So it sounds like you like video games. It sounds like you want to be a Twitch streamer. I can't really relate to that. Like, I personally, I think video games are a waste of time overall. But so is a lot of things, you know. Uh, in in you know, obviously, a lot of people find video games really relaxing and uh, helps them deal with their stress. But in the end, they're not really going to propel you further in life unless you do something like Twitch and you become very popular. Like you said, that it, that is a difficult kind of thing to attain. But, I mean, so is a lot of stuff. I mean, if you kind of have that attitude of, like, oh, like, everyone's doing this, so, like, I'm never going to be successful, then, yeah, that's exactly right. You're not going to be successful. So you really got to uh, kind of be brave and embrace the things that you really want to do just do it you know if you want to be a twitch streamer start you know start doing it start promoting the shit out of it uh, make it interesting you know be the change you want to see in the world fuck your parents don't listen to them uh obviously you know you have to bring in money so you know get a job work at a uh, wing stop or whatever until you start turning a profit from your twitch stuff but try to do both you have to keep a uh, a foot in both camps as far as the college goes i would say drop out have your parents put all the your college money into a into a fund, put it in the stock market. All that money is going to waste if you're not, you know, actively pursuing some sort of uh, degree. You know, like I, I think you know if if you wanted to be a doctor or if you wanted to be a chemist or a pilot or something like that, you know, and it was very clear you had a goal in mind, I would definitely go to college and uh, get a jump start on all that as early as possible but if you're not really sure you're not really enthused or passionate about anything in particular then drop out right now because you're just wasting time and money so yeah maybe you can get a better job in the wing stop maybe you can work in a maybe you can work in some kind of commission based job you know some sort of job that kind of uh makes you feel passionate about uh about life you know like kind of motivates you and incentivizes you to, to work harder if 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 you can find a job like that, that would be preferable, or you know, just you, you kind of find like a kooky job, you know, like maybe you could work at a uh, like a used bookstore, or maybe you could. Uh, there's probably none of those left. Um, hold on, let me think. Maybe like a um, 
like a thrift store or like a, like a, like a store that's like uh, that sells old knickknacks, you know, dusty old knickknacks or just weird stores, you know, um, or like a like a like a toy shop, like a used toy store. So just, you know, like a like a locally owned. I don't know where you live, but try to find a job that's interesting, you know, that you're not too embarrassed by. Just try to keep your life interesting. You know, that that's that's really important for you and, and for uh, other people um, when they take interest in you. Thanks for uh, the support, uh, watching my videos over, over over the years. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, drop out of college. School is a total, most, most colleges are a total scam um, anyway. Yeah, start start doing the Twitch thing. Just have fun with it, you know? Like, don't, don't do it because you want to make money, you know? Do the Twitch thing because it's your hobby and that's what you enjoy doing. Because you're gonna get better at it, you know? The longer you do it, the more fun you're gonna have with it, um, the better you're gonna get, the more entertaining you're gonna be. Yeah, and, and, and get a job. Make sure you're, you know, pulling your weight. All right, let's move on to the next uh, email here. We got an email from Grayson. Here we go. Asking a girl out. Hey, Forrest, longtime fan of your work and everything you've done. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm 16 and a junior in high school. But there's this girl my age, and we've been talking for a week and a half, and we have almost everything in common, like same music taste, rock and metal. She's a gamer. Xbox. Okay, he, he had to let us know. Uh, <laughs> they both have an Xbox, so. Alright, we have the same political views, we both have the same religious views, and so on. Wow. But I really like this girl, and I don't want to ask her out too early, and I don't know how I'm used to... <laughs> and I don't... Hold on. I don't want to ask her out too early, and I don't know how to... I'm used to being a loser and rejected by girls, so I'm not so good at this. Okay. Um, there's some punctuation issues there, uh, but it's okay. Uh, Jim, don't, Jim, oh my God, my cat's knocking over my Legos yet again. She's going to kill herself one of these days, I swear. All right. Uh, I play guitar and I've been thinking about writing her a song, but I don't want to be that guy or it to be tacky and her not to like it or just being upfront with her about it and saying how I feel to her. Also, I don't know if it's too soon to ask her out or if I should just wait longer to ask her out anyways your advice would be appreciated and thank you and congrats on your kid and marriage awesome okay so there's lots to unpack here uh grayson uh thanks by the way um if you guys don't know i'm having a, i'm having my first uh, child with my with my wife my my beautiful wife Alyssa. um she is uh, she's about halfway there or she's a little over halfway there we, we just hit the halfway mark on her preg on her pregnancy but enough about me um grayson I, I definitely I, I definitely have some advice from you uh, for you. Uh, you're 16, you know you're still figuring things out. You're still super young, so you've got the whole world in front of you. Um, sounds like you you like this girl a lot. Sounds like she likes you, and you, you sp you're you're spending some some good quality time with her. He says I'm used to being a loser and rejected by girls, so I'm not so good at this. Well, you know you got to be rejected before you can be accepted. You know there, there, there's nothing. Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna win every single time. Okay, so just know that's part of the process. Um, it's not it's not generally your fault. It's just you know not every girl you're interested in is gonna like you back. Um, but hopefully this one does. Uh, it sounds sounds like you guys are already getting along. You play the guitar. You sound like a pretty cool guy, honestly. Um, I've been thinking about writing her a song, but I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, yeah. Don't write her the song. I mean, that's like write her a you know that's like after like you've been dating for a while. You know, maybe you should uh you know start dating her and you can you can pull that out of your back pocket when the time is right i would say yeah go ahead and ask her out don't wait any longer she is probably you know thinking like does this guy like me too you know and the longer you wait the, the more time you give her to to move on to some other guy so just do it you know i know it's uh it can be kind of nerve-wracking especially at such a young age um but you got to know, like, as you get older, like, that, that kind of uh, fear of rejection, it goes away. Like, after you've asked out multiple women, and a lot of them have rejected you, and a lot of them have accepted you, the, the kind of, um, the kind of, like, fear of being rejected, and the kind of hap happiness of being accepted, they both kind of dull, you know? Um, so, the, all your emotions are very heightened right now because of your age. You're just so young. Everything's, you know, brand new to you. And as you get older, the the edges of that are going to be uh, kind of uh, sanded down. So that that's 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 a good and bad thing. 
Uh, also, I don't know if it's too soon to ask her out or if I should wait longer to ask her out. Anyways, your advice... Okay, yeah, so that, that's my advice. Yeah, ask her out. Don't wait any longer. I mean, you already know what you want to do, it sounds like. And, you know, you're not confident about the song, so don't do not do the song. Just follow your instincts, you know? That's just kind of good general advice. You know, if, if you're not confident about doing the song, then don't do the song. If you feel like you should ask her out, just ask her out. Um, what's the worst that could happen? She turns you down and, you know, you're, you're, on, you're, you're on to the next chick. You, you, can't, uh, you can't get hung up on these things. All right. Uh, next, next question. Thanks for writing in, Grayson. Appreciate that. All right. Tom writes in. This is kind of a short one, but I guess I'll answer it. Okay, so so he, he, he first writes in, I started watching you when I was six, and now I'm 17. It's crazy because you were literally my whole childhood. Yada, yada, yada. I never understood the jokes, but now they're so funny to me. Well, how do you turn uh, the respect for Newcastle in England? Okay, and, and then I was like, yeah, thanks, man. You got any problems I can help you out with on the podcast? And he's like, yeah. I was wondering, what is the best way to deal with stress? I know there's a large scale of things which help certain people, but there's just, but what are the things that you would recommend? Um, okay, uh, so dealing with stress. Um, something that I find helps me a lot is just focusing on my work. Uh, I don't know if that's the healthiest thing ever. Focusing on my work, uh, exercising, going for runs uh, can be really uh, st uh, stress freeing. I'm a workaholic, you know, I work all the time. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm working on like three different Lego projects right now. Uh, you know, a lot of times people think I'm lazy or something because I don't have a lot of videos come out on the channel. But what they don't realize is like I do a lot of contract work for other companies and studios outside of my channel and also. I'm generally working on like several projects at once, and um, these these videos they're they're not easy to make. I mean, they 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 take a really long time, is what I mean to make. So I, I'm always working on something for months and months and months at a time, and meanwhile the channel just appears to be you know dead. I upload one video and everyone's like, "Woo, that's so cool!" for like a week, and then it's like, you know, where's the next video? And it's like, well, it's gonna take you know several more months. Um, but yeah, I, I work all the time. I feel like throwing myself into my work is a good way to um, combat stress. I've kind of always been like that. I think I'm kind of like ADHD or something. I mean, I've never been diagnosed or whatever, but, um, you know, I, I have a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress um, in, my, in my, just, I always have. It's kind of just my kind of state of being. And it's, it's gotten better over time as I've gotten more confident in myself and my abilities. But it's something I still uh, continually struggle with, and, and some days are better than others. But what I find is exercising really helps, going for a run. You know, you don't have to go every single day, but if you go like once every two, three days and go for a nice uh, jog around, you know, maybe run a mile or two miles, you know, something like that, uh, it can really help uh, yoga, you know, stretching your body, um, making sure you're taking time to breathe. And um, listening to audiobooks, you know, reading really helps kind of take you out of your own head and, you know, potentially uh, help you empathize with others and um, understand that uh, your problems aren't the only problems in the world and nor are they even the biggest problems in the world, you know. So kind of being able to empathize with others and understand your place in the, your role in the universe is key to uh, not getting overwhelmed. So yeah, I would just uh, keep yourself busy. If you're doing a lot of stuff like playing video games a lot and, uh, you find yourself kind of slipping into a depression, try to do something a little bit more productive. You know, building your future, building towards something, um, learning a skill, crafting something, you know, building something. That's important uh, to kind of give yourself the uh, self-confidence that you need in order to uh, combat anxiety um, and depression. All right, uh, let's see, last email. We got from uh, ZCB Films. He says, Hey Forrest, my name is Anthony. I'm 15, almost 16 years old, and I've been loving and watching your videos since 2012. I too love Lego and I'm very passionate about filmmaking. Awesome. Anyway, the reason I'm writing to you is because I, is because I need advice as to what I should do about my current situation. Like I said, I'm 15 years old, but I look like a fucking 12 year old. I'm 5'1 and haven't really grown much at all. I've been playing football for almost 10 years now, nice, and now that I'm a sophomore in high school, it's getting so hard to keep up because my muscles are so underdeveloped. God damn it. Uh, in school, I'm always trying to be funny and make other people laugh. I don't do it to try and get uh, my jokes out there or something. I do it because I want people to think of me as funny 
and not some quiet little kid. For the most part, this works. I'm cool with and talk to pretty much everyone at school because I can make them laugh. Uh, but of course, there are the occasional assholes who think they are superior to me uh, and feel the need to show it. At this point, I just expect that kind of reaction to my height from everyone. I'm just so sick of putting on a fake smile and trying to constantly think of ways to make people laugh with me instead of at me. I'm so sick of barely playing in football games because I'm not as strong and having to use 25 pound weights during workouts while my teammates all use 45s. I'm so sick of people doing double takes when they see me driving a car or standing next to my twin brother who is a foot and a half taller than me. I'm so sick of deepening my voice to cone to come across as older and tougher when I'm in public. I'm just really in a tough spot, and I know to some people the fact that I'm smaller and weaker than everyone else may not seem like a big deal, but my size, looks, and strength all affect every single aspect of my life in some way or another, and this mentality that I'm not good enough or strong enough is in my head every second of every day, and it's just not healthy to live that, that way. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree. You got a problem. Uh, I just don't know what to do and how to cope with all of this, and I could really use some advice. Thanks, Forrest. Okay, so this is, uh, I think, the longest email I got. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a good amount of stuff to, uh, to kind of address here. First of all, you're only 15 years old, so you're not, you know, even at a stage where you're uh, fully developed yet. So give yourself some time. And, you know, obviously, like you said, there, there's these kids who are who are uh, more advanced than you are, you know, with their muscle definition and their height and everything. But um, give, give yourself some more time. You know, don't don't give up on yourself yet. You know, a lot of people are, are short. They still are successful people. I have this friend, uh, Damon, who is a he's short. He's a rock climber. He's fucking super fit. Goes on these like crazy long hikes like these epic like nature hikes like off the beaten path like days long hikes and where he pack he has to pack all his own water and and you know supplements and food and whatnot and he's a he's a nature photographer and he's actually uh released like several books that uh sell like in barnes and noble and shit like he's very successful and his photography is excellent um and he's a short guy i mean you know he's like pretty short guy I don't know I don't know exactly I haven't measured him but um he's, he's he's got a wife you know he's, he's got a he's got a really nice wife and uh he's uh super successful I mean th there's plenty of people who are who find success who uh you know aren't the biggest dudes you gotta you gotta realize like that the people who are you know if, if someone's being an asshole to you that's more a uh, a problem with them than it is with you you know anytime someone criticizes you on your size or makes light or makes makes uh makes fun of you in any kind of way they're they're hurting inside and uh they're not um happy with themselves so they're they're insecure and they're lashing out at you because they want to um bring you down to the to their level so just recognize that and don't uh don't give them that satisfaction sounds like you're a pretty cool guy sounds like you got a lot of friends and they think you're funny and you know you're on the football team and all that and you know you're falling behind in the in the football stuff because because of, of your size and you know you're feeling really uh, insecure about about all that and you, you just kind of got to realize like uh, life sucks sometimes you know like it, it's not a it's not always going to be happy that's just one of the things you know you kind of have to uh, focus on you know every day we can kind of wake up and make a choice on what we focus on you know we can focus on all the problems in our life or we can focus on all the the blessings in our life wake up and and you know i know it's hard it, especially when you've um been kind of circling these thought patterns for so long on on what to do like how to change that that mindset but you really have to try to actively focus on the positive and eventually it'll become second nature to you 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 have to you have to uh kick yourself and and kind of um recognize when you're having these unhealthy thought patterns and try to manually reset your your mind to uh, to bring you back to a, a more positive space. It's 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 hard work. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. I'm sick of people doing double takes. Uh, you know, fuck those people. Whatever. You have to focus on what makes you happy. And you know that might have used to have been football, and you know not so much anymore. So you kind of have to. 
focus on on new things you know things that where you can feel uh powerful i don't know what that could be you know you, developing other interests is important though um so you're not kind of stuck in one in one boat um that's something i've been trying to focus on more recently is to kind of developing myself in ways other than just brick filming and filmmaking i mean for so long a lot of my self-confidence came just from my YouTube channel. And, you know, I was like, well, I have a successful YouTube channel, you know, um, I'm hot shit, you know, but for, for so long, I was super insecure about physical appearance and kind of my like game with girls and stuff like that. I, I was kind of putting a lot on myself. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself and I, I realized that I actually have a lot to offer. You know, this took a long, a long time for, for me to, to realize, but I, I kind of started developing other interests outside of just my YouTube channel. You know, I started like juggling, I started drawing more, um, developing, you know, my social skills, you know, going out, doing things that uh, kind of scared me or, or do, doing, going out into the world and, and trying things that uh, are unconventional and kind of, um, moving towards things that uh that frightens me so so move towards not away the things that um intimidate you and uh yeah you know keep exercising like that, that's so important i mean so what you're, you're still using 25 pound weights i mean that's that's sick that you're even doing that i mean most most people i would say don't even lift at all so so just keep keep you know working out like i said your body's still developing so so just give it the food, you know, the energy that it needs, you know, put a lot into it, keep pushing yourself and you're going to make big strides. You know, I, I, I believe you're going to come out on top. You sound like a pretty cool guy. Let's see. I think I think I addressed it. I think I addressed everything. Yeah, that's definitely an issue, though. You know, I, I think the first the first uh, thing in, in this in this, this type of situation is recognizing you have a problem and it looks like you've done that. So now you can kind of uh, make a bullet pointed list of, of things that you need, you need to focus on in order to turn this around. Um, but you, you're still really young. I mean, you're super, I think you're the youngest person who's wrote, wrote in. Um, so cut yourself some slack. All right, that'll do it for today. Uh, I'd like to do this again on a, a consistent schedule. Right now, uh, I'm working on a project for a client. I can't talk about it, uh, but it should be out some, sometime in, in September. But yeah, feel free to write in if you've got any kind of questions or problems, like life problems, issues. I will do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, all right, that, that'll do it for today. Um, thanks, everyone. Toodles.